This is Prague, capital of the Czech Republic and home to Bohemia Interactive Simulation's largest development office. My name is Pat Stevens. I work as a solutions engineer with a focus on our geospatial technology. And today I want to tell you a quick story about how we modeled this city in just under a day with a small team of volunteers. I started with TerraTools, a geospatial software that can push large quantities of mapping data into virtual environments. The OpenGIS, or mapping data, was provided by Geoportal Praha. I was able to take this data, process it with TerraTools, and publish it to our latest terrain offering, Mantle. When Mantle is used as a terrain server, it exhibits a live and dynamic connection to both GIS tools like TerraTools and rendering engines like VBS4. This allowed for a hyper-fast terrain preview, change loops, and the ability to watch the terrain be built layer by layer. This specific inset terrain of Prague was built atop our global base terrain. It includes higher fidelity layers of imagery, elevation, water, roads, surfaces, which also define vegetated areas, geospecific, and geotypical models. Processing data can only get you so far. If we want this city to feel lived in, we're going to need a few landmark models, and that's where our modeling team came in. In addition to finding OpenGIS data, we also found open models. Using the model exchanger, we were easily able to prepare these models in a format understandable by Mantle. We then added these new models to our overall content library. Our content library contains thousands of models that can help make the city feel more alive. With the base terrain and models hosted on a Mantle server, we were able to stream to multiple VBS Geo clients. This allowed me to act as an administrator, adding and enhancing terrain layers based on data, while the eight volunteers could simultaneously enhance the terrain inset using VBS Geo. The real power of Mantle is demonstrated when we leverage its streaming and export capabilities beyond VBS4. And since we've chosen to host the terrain on a Mantle server, it is immediately out of the box, ready and available for streaming clients like Unreal and Unity. In addition to those specific rendering engines, we also stream out to industry standard formats like 3D Tiles and WMTS. And for those formats that do not support streaming, like CDB, VBS3, OpenFlight, and MetaFlight, we can simply select an area of interest, add a few parameters, and kick off a terrain process that occurs on the Mantle server. Once the process is completed, we'll receive a downloadable file that is ready to use in your desired engine. Putting Mantle at the core of this project allowed us to build the train fast, build it once, and we won't have to build it again for other supported formats.